Okay, now on your screen you will actually see the network side of the DVR. Okay, as you're looking at the DVR here, you'll see along top is all your menu controls. Okay, again, this is over the network. Basically, when you're looking at the DVR, whether it be over the network or on site, you're basically going to see the same exact menu setup. So no matter whether you're setting it up on site or over the network, it will look exactly the same. So there is no confusion to you, and it'll keep it nice and simple. Okay, over here to the left, you'll see you have the one through four and then the four up. Basically, by choosing one, two, three, or four, you'll pull up that particular quadrant full screen. By choosing four up, you can pull up all four at once. You have your on-screen display button here. Okay, that will toggle between taking your camera titles and your date and time off the screen. Down below, you have your color key. Okay, one is your normal. Uh, green is your normal. Yellow is your motion video loss. Red is your alarm, and gray is disabled. Okay, so as you can see, one, two, and four are all at normal. Three has a motion or a video loss. And any time there were be a particular movement in any of those screens, okay, depending on if the motion is enabled, that green would turn to yellow, allowing you to see that there was a motion event. If you disable the camera, okay, let's just say for instance really quick, we can go ahead and disable camera three or uninstall it. When you come back to the screen here, you'll see now three is grayed out, okay, noting.